Okay, we got something really special for you today. Today is the first day of my brother's brand new Tesla Model Y. Brand new, has 12 miles on it. It's been driven from the truck to his house and we're gonna perform a test. And that is to see if we can charge the car with the solar panels that are on the roof. He's got a battery bank that he's created and it's a little bit of Mickey Mouse, but we're gonna see if we can have free energy to drive our brand new Tesla with our charging from the sun. This is the power port where the car charges. He's got one solar panel, two solar panels, and then there's three more in the back of the house. And we've got the cord coming from the battery bank, which is in the back bedroom. And Stella is gonna approve the whole scenario. We may go up in flames, we don't know. But right now the charge cord is too short to come from the battery bank to the car. So we've got to extend it somehow or else put the car in the backyard to see if it'll charge. Charging from the sun for free. Let's see if this works. We've got the big honking extension cord. I think this is gonna slow down. Wow, that is heavy. How many gauge is that? That's like a double zero gauge. We're gonna plug this into there. Oh, gee, that is really heavy. This is gonna slow down our charger. Oh. So, okay. I got you on. all right, but just explain to me. So the solar panels come in. Where do the solar panels come in at? Right there. Okay, so the solar panels come in through these wires here, and they go into this big thing. Your, what's this? Bar. This is called an inverter. Yep. Gigawatt okay. inverter. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. Turn on. And turn then on, on, on. that goes into the battery bank, battery banks, and then that's gonna go out to the car. So this cable that goes out goes out to the car. Okay, so I just turned it on, and you can see it's 240 watts, or uh, 200 volts. volts. Yeah, good. And I'm going to hit the circuit breakers. Now it's live. It's live. Should it's we go out there and see? Okay, let's go out and see yeah. if it's charging the car. Okay, okay wait, wait. Here wait, 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 wait. I don't know if it's going to work. Did it light up green? Hold on. I don't know. Oh. Oh, it says red. Yeah. That's bad. It's not going to go. Oh. So it must be a ground disconnect or something. That's not good. No. Oh, you, you see the door? Oh yeah, popped open. Go? Yeah. Right. Okay, it's blue. Plug it in, and it's red. No. Oh, it oh. turned blue. It turned blue. Wait. It turned blue. No, oh, no it turned it's red. red. All right. So let's do this. I wonder what's wrong. The battery bank is inside the window. The cord comes out the dryer vent, which is only like a, I don't know, 16 gauge. And it plugs into the double lot, so there's there's a chance we have something hooked up wrong here. He's gonna go inside and see if there's a ground issue. Um, that's a bummer. We were hoping to charge our Tesla, our brand new Tesla, off of our solar panels on our roof up there. We're getting um, what did he say? A lot of volts and a lot of watts to fast charge at home our brand new Tesla. Okay, so we're going to try reducing the amp load of the car. He's going to go through the screen. So is that 48 it. amps? I'm going to go down to like, let's do 20. So we're going to do a 20 amp charge instead of 48. Try that. Maybe that'll help. Okay, let's try that. I hope so. Okay, hey, you, you're in charge of this, Mark. Okay. I'm going to turn the power back on. Okay, turn the power back on. Okay, so it's telling us there's a grounding issue. Unable to charge. Hmm. We resorted to cheating. We have a 50 amp outlet on the side of the house. We have a grounding issue with our batteries. Uh, this is now green. So I guess we're just gonna charge the Tesla the old fashioned way. Let's see how much amps it draws. Press the button. Okay, here we go. Okay. Blue, 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 blue. 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 Green. Green. Yes, it's charging. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's charging rate? This. So this is at, says it's at 32. So it auto it has an auto adjust. Oh, so, so it's remember 32. we had it at 10 because we yeah. dialed it down and now try to put it at 40. Amps. I don't think it will. The, the plus is off. Oh, okay. So it knows that's a 32 amp. So um, how many miles per hour? How many miles per hour is it charging? Does it say? Um, I just. I just don't know how to do it yet. So it's, what do you think, it's 40 miles an hour? No, it's gotta be like 20 no, miles per hour. Like, more like 
20 inch. Okay. So hooking up to our solar panels is sort of a fail. We don't have a ground. We, if we put up a, if we had a ground rod, would that work? We drove a ground rod in the ground. Yeah, you have to put okay. a ground rod in the ground. We don't have a correct ground rod, so I guess our solar panel problem, our solar panel issue, our solar panel uh, dream of charging the, the Tesla. Solar panels are grounded to the. Yeah, but that won't. Panel, but not the inverter. There's a ground issue. Bummer. Okay, so we got the car charging from the house, which is not what we intended. We wanted to charge it directly off the roof. My brother didn't tell me that he had no ground hooked up to his battery pack. So that's kind of <laughs> our fault. So if we get the ground hooked up, I think we can charge at 32 amps or more, which is uh, a pretty good rate of charge for this thing. Should give us a good 30 miles an hour of charge. There you go. Stella's upset. My brother forgot the ground. How could you forget the ground?